Hi people, it's me Anya, my pronouns are she and her, and welcome back to my channel for a new recent reads video. But also, full story, I think that this video might be the last video that I film in my dorm room, because by the time that you're watching this, I have already graduated from college, which is really bizarre to think about, honestly. So let's move on past that and get into the books that I have recently read. May has been a really good reading month so far, so without any further ado, the first book on this list is called Scandal and the Phantom Lytle, which is the sequel to Scandal and the Unicorn Thief, which I read last May, and basically it's a middle-grade fantasy book, and I really, really enjoyed it. Literally, like, this book was so good. Typically, I tend not to have high expectations for sequels, because sometimes they just flop. But this book didn't. It absolutely slayed. Like a big super slay sequel. Like, first of all, the plot was so intriguing and so engaging. The characters were so well developed and so distinct. I loved how the main character's, like, sister's relationship was incorporated so well. And I loved her perspective, too. This book is so iconic. I loved all the family scenes. The world building is so interesting and so intriguing. I am so excited to read the next book in the series. I'm not completely sure how many books the author has planned, but I'm so excited to continue this series because this world and these characters are absolutely so wonderful. I love the friendships so much. But anyway, overall, I rated this book four out of five stars. And with that said, I would definitely highly, highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called The Firefly Summer. This book is a middle grade contemporary following a young main character as she finds out more about her mother's side of the family as she searches for hidden treasure. This book is absolutely so good and I really, really enjoyed it. First of all, I love the fact that the main character had such a big family and it felt so like wholesome and almost like whimsical and super authentic. The plot was literally so engaging and so immersive, and the characters were all so well developed and so distinct. Like, this book is so good. I was so captivated by the mystery. At first, I was a little apprehensive before I read this book, because previously, the author has only written YA contemporaries in the past, and this is her middle grade debut, and it's true that I haven't really enjoyed a YA book by her in a while, so I can't exactly say that she writes middle grade better than YA. But anyway, overall, this book was so good. I really, really enjoyed it because it was so like happy and fluffy and wholesome and just so well done. So anyway, overall, I rated this book four out of five stars. And with that said, I would definitely highly, highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called The Unstoppable Bridget Bloom. This book is a YA contemporary following a young plus size pansexual main character as she is navigating self-discovery, love, friendships, and humility. This book is absolutely so excellent and so good. I really, really enjoyed it. First of all, the plot was so intriguing and so engaging. I loved all of the fetal elements. The friendships were so lovely and so wonderful. I love Bridget as a main character. I understand why people find her initially to be annoying, but honestly, like, that's the whole point. Teenagers are supposed to be messy and selfish and annoying sometimes because that is more authentic. And anyway, I digress. This book was so iconic and it was so good. The characters were all so well developed and so distinct. The friendships were so wonderful and so lovely. The romance was so cute and absolutely so fluffy. I will say though, the pansexuality representation wasn't as prominent as I was expecting, but I loved how queer normative this world was, if that makes any sense. But anyway, overall, this book was so good and I really, really enjoyed it. Like the plus size representation also was so good. And again, it was so normalized. Anyway, this book was so awesome. I just really, really enjoyed how like happy and feel good it was. So overall, I rated this book four or five stars. And with that said, I would definitely highly, highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called Ondel and Santi Will Heal. This book is a YA contemporary following a young non-binary Mexican-American teenager who falls in love with an undocumented Mexican boy. This book is absolutely so good. And I really, really enjoyed it. And with that said, I rated it five out of five stars because I literally loved it so much. 
I had really high expectations for this book because the author previously wrote last year 1500 miles under the sun which I really really enjoyed as well but I was a little hesitant because sometimes an author's like sophomore book is not as good as their first book but this book in my opinion is literally so much better although I will say that the tone of this book is much different from 1500 miles under the sun which was definitely more fluffy and feel good but anyway overall this book was so good i really really enjoyed it the plot was so intriguing and so engaging i learned so much about like people who are undocumented and i really really loved how like educational and informative this book was the characters were both so well developed and so distinct and their romance was so cute and so fluffy. I also loved how normal, like, the non-binary and queer representation was. Like, this book is so good. Their romance is so cute and I literally love them. This book is so amazing and it totally deserves all the type and so much more. Like, it's so emotional and it's so good. So anyway, all that to say, like I said, I read this book 5 out of 5 stars. It's a new favorite for me. And with that said, I would definitely highly, highly recommend it. The last book on this list, and certainly not the least, is called Imogene, obviously. This book is a YA contemporary following a young Jewish bisexual main character as she navigates friendship, identity, and sexuality. This book is absolutely so amazing and so awesome, and it's totally worth all of its hype and so much more. First of all, the plot was so intriguing and so engaging, and the fact that the book is set over such a short amount of time didn't really bother me at all because the story was literally so immersive. Every single one of the characters were literally so well developed and so distinct, and each one of them felt so authentic and so well done. Imogene's like queer journey is so good and I know that like so many young people can really resonate with her you know what I mean like this book is so good and it's so necessary and it's so timely the queer representation was so good the sapphic romance was so cute and so adorable and absolutely so awesome this book is so good I really really enjoyed it like the genuine friendships in this book were so good I just really really enjoy this book like the feeling that I got from this book reminded me of like the feel good happy fluffy feeling that I get from reading like Alice Oseman books you know what I mean so anyway overall this book was so good also the Jewish representation was also so awesome but anyway overall I really really enjoy this book and I rated it four to five stars so with that said I would definitely highly highly recommend it so in conclusion, in terms of reading, May has been a super slay reading month so far, and I hope that it continues to be. If you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below the mushroom emoji, because that's what I feel like my hair is currently giving. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!